Conventional archaeology propagates the notion that the further we look back into history, the more archaic the civilizations we see and the more inferior their methods of construction. Yet all over the world are ancient anomalies and megalithic marvels constructed with a lost high technology that confound today's experts, defy our greatest modern engineering and tell us a different version of history. 12 Photographs Mainstream Archaeology Does Not Want You to See Number 1. The Black Boxes of the Serapum Located in the area known as Saqqara, the Serapum is one of the most enigmatic ancient sites in all of Egypt. Lost under the sands of time, this labyrinth was discovered in 1850 which hides 25 granite black boxes crafted with laser-like precision. Each box weighs approximately 70 tons along with a lid of 30 tons cut from the same piece of stone. Each box was found empty and thus their purpose remains a mystery. It is estimated that these 100-ton stone boxes would need at least 2,000 men to transport them. However, with the tunnels being only two feet wider than the boxes themselves, there would not have been nearly enough space inside for such a vast army to lower and transport these boxes to their resting places. One the Egyptians would have had to use torches to see inside the pitch black tunnels, yet there is no evidence of smoke markings from flame light on the low tunnel ceilings. The stone was quarried in Aswan about 1,000 kilometers away. The official statement from Egyptologists is that these boxes were made during the late dynastic period as burial places for sacred bulls, but it would have been impossible for the dynastic Egyptians to do so with softer bronze tools. The very crude hieroglyphic carvings on the outside of three of the boxes were most likely made thousands of years later by the Egyptians who found them in situ, notice how advanced the much older box appears compared with its enclosure. Number 2 the Fortress Walls of Man. Sitting high atop the northern outskirts of Cusco, Peru, lies the mind-bending fortress of Sacsayhuaman. The Andesite walls here consist of interlocking blocks that were crafted with mortarless precision, some of them weighing as much as 125 tons. Each foundational stone goes about 12 feet underground, making the walls earthquake-proof. Conventional archaeologists attribute the Inca to building Sacsayhuaman, but with the Inca only having bronze tools, how could they have extracted, shaped, and transported these megaton blocks from the quarry over a series of mountains from over five miles away? Number 3. The Rock Ship of Masuda. The village of Asuka, Japan holds a secret. It hides multiple carved granite stones in peculiar shapes with the largest and most unusual known as the Masuda Noiwafu and the Rock Ship of Masuda. The Rock Ship, being the largest of the mysterious rock mounds, is 36 feet by 26 feet by 15 feet high, and is made of solid granite, which makes it somewhere around 800 tons. It is a carved mound, with two holes each about a meter square in the center, going through to the ground. In this region there are many Buddhist temples and shrines that may suggest the carving was made by Buddhists. However, Masuda no Iwafun does not resemble the style or construction of any other Buddhist monument. Too like all megaliths, no one seems to know who built it, or when. Number 4. The Machine Cuts of Man. Again at the ancient site of Sacsayhuaman in Peru can be seen evidence of what appears to be machine-like cuts made into the superhard andesite stone. According to the archaeological record the Inca only possessed bronze tools. So if the Inca shaped these stones as conventional archaeologists suggest, how could they have cut into andesite with their much softer bronze tools? This would be equivalent of trying to cut through a tree with a plastic fork. Number 5. The Light Bulb Depictions of Dendera The Dendera light is a supposed ancient Egyptian electrical lighting technology depicted on three stone reliefs, one single and a double representation, in the Hathor Temple at the Dendera Temple complex located in Egypt. Three upon examination, there is what appears to be a very large lamp or bulb with a cable connected at the end with a snake-like shaped cord inside. Compared with the smaller figures seen crouching below the lamp, are two giant-looking figurines on each end of the lamp that some believe may depict an elite race of ruling class giants. Number 6. The White Granite Ruins of Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu actually means ancient mountain. 
The 550-plus-year-old Inca walls and dwellings made of rough stone and clay mortar are beautiful achievements in their own right, see the Inca ruins on right side of above picture, and they are what the majority of tourists pay attention to, but there is something much more prehistoric and superior to see here, the megalithic mortarless construction made from white granite that almost appears to look like something you would see in a futuristic space age SY-FI film and predates the Inca by thousands upon thousands of years. Number 7. The Stone of the Pregnant Women at Baalbek. Constructed by an ancient civilization possessing a lost high technology, the 1,200-ton Stone of the Pregnant Women is made of limestone and rests in the Baalbek Quarry of Lebanon. This is the largest known megalithic cut stone on planet Earth. Mainstream archaeologists declare this megalith is the product of Roman engineering, but if so, why is this stone found over 3,500 kilometers away from Rome and why are there no other stones like it near the seat of Roman power? It is obvious that the Romans found this many millennia later. Number 8. The Trapezoidal Enigmas of Allentatumbo. Peru's largest archaeological site is Allentatumbo. Upon visitation one begins to see megalithic architecture that features precision angles, and even some that resemble the age blocks seen at Puma Punku in Bolivia. This much older trapezoidal construction not only dwarfs, but stands out in stark contrast to the inferior rough stone and clay mortar Inca construction that surrounds it. Number 9. The Power Drill Holes at Karnak. A large core drill hole can be seen at the Karnak Temple complex in Egypt. This is clearly a prehistoric work and the groove that was crafted indicates that the drill was boring into the very tough Aswan pink granite at a rate of at least 2 mm per revolution. The dynastic Egyptians could not have drilled this with their bronze hand tools. Number 10. The Multi-Sided Stones of Cusco. Located near downtown Cusco, Peru, the stones pictured above are so ancient that they predate the Inca by thousands of years and yet are so precisely advanced that you could not slide a human hair between them. If you go to visit this site, a tour guide will tell you that this megalithic mortarless 11 side stone is the work of the Inca. However, even if the bronze tool wielding Inca could have cut into the harder granite and andesite, then why did they not construct all of their structures out of this impenetrable stone construction? Number 11. The Helicopter Hieroglyphs of Abydus. According to many, these mysterious hieroglyphs inside the ancient Egyptian temple of Abydus depict flying machines. Carved on a heavy stone slab that supports the ceiling of this temple, Egyptologists assert that this is just another example of palimpsest, a manuscript or piece of writing material on which the original writing has been effaced to make room for later writing but of which traces remain. 5. I might lean toward this hypothesis if there was just one hieroglyph that appeared to look somewhat like a flying machine but when there are three very detailed depictions of what looks exactly like a modern-day helicopter and other spacecraft, it becomes harder to believe this was all just an ancient coincidence. Number 12. The Saw Cuts of Allentatumbo. High up a mountainside and a stone's throw from the Temple of the Sun and other trapezoidal megalithic works at the Allentatumbo site in Peru is this very hard andesite stone with what appears to be ancient saw-like cuts. Upon close observation, one can see that this is in no way natural, as part of the stone was literally sawed off from the top and then over halfway down the ancient machinist stopped using whatever form of lost ancient technology he had.